In this video, we're going to look at another add-on, one called Write Well for Google Docs. It's simple, but it's worth taking a look at. So in order to get it, we'll have to come into a Google Doc, say Get Add-ons, and I can search for Write Well. It should probably be enough. Write Well for Google Docs will come up. It's listed as five stars, although you can see that there are a limited number of reviews. So um, whether it's heavily used or not, I don't know, but the people who have used it like it. So I'll say free. It's going to ask me to approve its access. And then we'll look like nothing happens. Okay, it's just telling you that you have to come into add-ons in order to get this. So go to add-ons. It's now listed there. Since I haven't used it before on this particular document, I shouldn't click continue. I'll just click start. It's going to bring me to a pop-up window uh, that is broken up by different grade levels. And within the different grade level tabs are sample essays. How to blog, legal brief, this is under professional and creative. So let's go to middle school and say five paragraph middle school essay. This is just showing you the basic structure um, of the document. So it, it's going to get, break things into sections. Okay, so this is saying that this should have an introduction and thesis, supporting evidence one, etc. Um, there may be some seed content in there for the student to replace. You also have the options to get tips and samples. So let's generate this template and see what we get. It may take a moment or two. Write well uh, controls will open on the right. Delete that. And you'll get just as promised basic structure of the essay. Now over on the right, if I click on this topic, it's not really joined to topic itself, but it will give me tips. So what is your thesis? What topic are you explaining to your reader? You catch your reader's attention here. Body section, telling what should be in body section one, body section two, body section three, and then the conclusion. So it's giving them writing tips. In the upper portion, there's an essay example they can check in on and see what an essay might look like. And then they simply can type their essay there. I would, I would recommend obviously highlighting and removing this text because you certainly don't want that. That's confusing if it's left in there. Again, at the end of the essay, I will maybe replace this with a title and I'll remove these pieces as well. Now, if I decided this wasn't the best template for me, the best thing to do is to delete it. Then you can go back and what I really was looking for was um, K-12 elementary grade 4 and 5 narrative essay. Notice also on this particular screen as I'm installing you can request an additional template here. I'm not sure um, how quickly that might happen or if that might happen, but it's, it's an option. And there we go. Let's look at it. It works in the same way. Um, some of these templates are better built out than others. This is a longer essay for sure. And some of the instruction sets or tips are better than others. Now, um, another use for this is basically you could use this as a starting point, modify the document. It's only a Google Doc. So another strategy might be to use this to kind of get started to a degree, um, set up your structure if that's what you, you'd like, and then save the document and distribute it through uh, maybe Google Classroom. Now, that's not going to get them this menu on the right. Um, but it is another way to work, if you choose.